Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. It may be October, but today I am painting green skins of a different kind. I am painting the goblins from Hero Quest, and these are actually the last miniatures that I have to paint from my copy of Hero Quest, so this is my final painting guide. There will be one more video at least on Hero Quest, and that will be repairing the box. But today, we're just going to paint our last six goblins. I have started by spray undercoating these with Army Painter Green Skin. I could have started with a Corax White or something like that and then put green skin over the top, but this was a little bit quicker and easier. Army Painter sprays give really good coverage. If you need to, you can use the matching paint from their range to do any touch-ups you need to, but with a model with a nice open stance like this, that may not even be necessary. So once that base coat is completely dry, we are going to use a Thonian Camo shade as a wash. And I'm just going to slop this on over the whole miniature. I don't need to worry about it going onto the clothes or anything else. All I'm doing here is getting some richer tones in the skin and getting that recessed shading that we need. And when that's completely dry, I'm going to do a highlight with green skin. This green skin from the bottle color matches with the original green skin that we sprayed onto the miniature. If you don't have these army painter greens, any greens will do. And what I'm doing here is I'm just going back over the raised details of the miniature. So picking out the lips, the nose, the top of the head, the ears, the cheekbones, the tops of the legs, and so on. I'm then going to mix in a little bit of Army Painter Goblin Green, and I'm going to do the same thing again, but this time focusing on more of the raised details. And then I'm going to use just Goblin Green on its own to do a final highlight. So that's on the tops of the eyebrows, the ears, the cheekbones just to really make those parts of the miniature pop and to pull focus a little bit to the face of the miniatures. These miniatures have really nice facial expressions. With that done, we are going to paint the clothing because the skin is finished. And if you want to, you can use some dark dingy browns and greys for this, but I always feel like the goblins look a little bit like court jesters, so I am painting them accordingly. For the miniature in this video, I'm going to be painting his tunic red, but I'm also going to paint half of my miniatures with blue. So for the red tunic, we're using Mephiston Red, which covers really nicely. You can usually get away with one coat of Mephiston Red. And of course, we're going to apply this very, very carefully to make sure we don't get it over any of the green. I'm then using an Army Painter Red Tone, and this is going to enrich that red tunic and also provide the recessed shading. If you don't want to use a red tone, you can use something like Agrax Earth Shade instead, just to make sure you get some good definition on the creases in the tunic. And then I'm switching to Evil Sun Scarlet, but any brighter red will do. And I'm just going to do a highlight on the raised areas of the tunic. I'm going to pick out all of the creases and folds. And I've purposefully done this in just two colours, the dark red, the wash, and then the light red. So we get some nice high contrast. And then it looks just a little bit cartoony, which I think works really well for these goblins. I'm now going to paint the belt. I'm using Dawnstone, any grey will do really. And I'm going to very, very carefully, using a fine brush, paint all around the waist. Again, the aim here is just to be clean and precise, thin the paints a little bit, but not so much that they run everywhere. I'm then going to use Steel Legion Drab, and we're going to paint this over the boots. If you want to, you can use grey or black instead. But this is going to go all over the boots. Again, making sure we don't get it on the legs. And I'm also going to use Steel Legion Drab on the handles of the weapons. The goblins in the set have three different types of weapons. Some have swords, some have scimitars, some have axes. They're all getting painted pretty much the same way. And then I'm switching to Balthazar Gold, and this is going to be for the hilts of the swords and the pommels of the swords and the handles of the axes. And I'm using Balthazar Gold just because the blades of the weapons are going to be lead belcher, so it's a different metal tone. I'm now switching to Agrax Earthshade because one of my painting guides isn't complete without a little bit of Agrax in there somewhere. And this is going to go all over the brown that we have painted. And we will also put it over the Balthazar Gold so we get that nice rich coppery colour that I like so much and use in so many of my videos. And you don't want to go crazy with this wash, you want to make sure it is precisely applied to just the brown and gold areas and you don't want it to pull too much. And then I'm going back to Steel Legion Drab and I'm just going to pick out the raised areas of the boots, all of the little creases and folds. And then I'm switching to Lead Belcher and I'm going to use a very fine brush to line in the buckle of the belt. And then I'm going to use a slightly larger brush 
to paint the blades of the weapons, that's the axe heads and the sword blades. And then I'm going to use Nuln Oil and I'm going to apply that over all of the grey and lead belt chest. So that's going to go all over the belt and it's going to go over the blade of the sword. And then I'm going back to Dawnstone and I'm just going to very carefully pick out the raised details on the belt. Just to give that a little bit more definition. And again, this is just a matter of being careful and precise, thinning the paint a little bit, but not so much that it runs everywhere. And now it is time to do the eyes. So I'm going to use Abaddon Black, slightly thinned down, and I'm going to use one of my finer paintbrushes. I'm going to brace my model, I'm going to hold my breath, and I'm going to very carefully line in the black areas of the eyes. And then I'm going to thin down some Pallid Witch Flesh, and I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm just going to dot in some pupils, and that will finish the miniature. There it is, completely done. Obviously the base still needs to be done, but I'm not going to do that in this video because I have a separate video on my HeroQuest restoration playlist for painting flagstones on HeroQuest bases. So for now, that is it. As I mentioned before, there will be at least one more video in my HeroQuest restoration project where I will restore the box. But for painting, this is it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please consider pressing the like button. If you really enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully, I will see you all again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.